What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Brian here. Uh, it's been a while, huh? I haven't posted anything in um, a few weeks. Uh, so and this is what I'm about to do right now. I am going to update you guys on what happened, my thoughts on like the whole thing, um, why I didn't post a few videos. Gravy make a splash like Pippin. Shit, that's nothing. Splash. Everybody. Out of the 10 weeks, I only posted two. Uh, it was supposed to be like a, at least 10 videos, and uh, it just it just didn't happen. It was it was a big eye opener. YouTube is not easy. Props to everyone that like people that do daily vlogs. Just boggles my mind how they do it. But uh, props to you guys. <laughs> All right. So what actually happened? So what happened was uh, we ended up placing seventh out of uh, in my class. I I did men's physique class C. Uh, I'm like five nine, so. And uh, out of 15 guys, I ended up placing seventh. I'm not the happiest about it, but you know what? It's it it is what it is. Um, the only thing I can do is just try to get better. Which brings me to my next point: Why did I stop making the videos? Okay, so you guys know I didn't really have that much time to begin with. Like I decided to do the show about 10 weeks out, and I still needed to put some more size. Out of those 10 weeks, five or six weeks of that was a mini bulk which uh, it, it worked but um the cutting part was hell it was so i pretty much had it was a four week prep towards the end pretty much uh which was a nightmare i was doing cardio twice a day for 45 minutes i was on uh, about 1800 calories and uh, uh just just to give you a perspective i ended up losing 20 pounds in 20 days that's not easy <laughs> And it, it was it was a nightmare. So I literally only had energy for my clients, the actual workouts and the cardio. Uh, a few other things, uh, the camera wise, I was using my phone to record, which was not a good idea. I kept running out of storage, like during the workouts. Uh, so I, I tried to man up and work out without music, but I kept running out of storage and I had to like, in the middle of my workout, stop, delete more stuff, and then like introduce, yeah, like it just wasn't working out. I, it was messing with my workouts. That's something I just couldn't have because the priority was a show. It wasn't really the videos for me. Like if I had to choose between the videos and the show, I would choose the show. Like, but um, we we got it done, and uh, it was once I got to Ohio, it was pretty fun. Um, I ended up driving there. It was a 10-hour drive. Um, my parents with, came with me. Uh, my friend Andrew came with me. And the trip itself wasn't that bad. Like it was almost meditative. But uh, the, the rental car that I got was, I don't know what it was, but it was like, it, it, I don't know if it was like an al alignment issue. I don't know much about cars. Think of the uh, <laughs> the uh, the go-karts. You know how sometimes you, you gotta like fix the, the wheel. Like for example, sometimes the car itself would go to the right and you gotta like pull to the left so it, it stays even. Um, yeah, just imagine driving like that on the highway for 10 hours. Yeah, that was, um, kept me on my toes. But, uh, other than that, uh, once we were there, it was it was pretty pretty smooth. We found a gym at like two in the morning to work out in to get the last workout. It was a Planet Fitness. Um, thank God they let us in. They weren't gonna let us in. I was just like about to cry, telling the little lady to like please let us work out. It's just one workout. And uh, yeah, true story. I, I didn't cry, but like they, they did let us in work out for free. The actual expo was pretty fun. Got to meet a few people. Those of you that follow me on Instagram know that um, I posted a few pictures there already. Since like this happened ten weeks ago, um, so yeah, all I'm telling you is based on memory. So uh, let's see what else. After the show, I just give myself some time off to like not counting macros, not like weighing out foods, eating whatever I wanted. Whatever I'm, I wanted, that doesn't mean that. I was force feeding myself whatever I couldn't eat throughout the prep. I was a little bit more careful this time. I didn't blow up. Everyone rebounds. It's just natural. Like you are gonna gain about five to ten pounds at least finishing a show, just because of all the water dehydration you go through. Introducing anything when you're in prep. Well, everyone takes different approaches, but when you're in prep, even if you introduce two, three hundred calories and you stop doing that cardio, it's like your body just soaks up everything. And it doesn't matter if you're like still a little bit strict with your diet, you're, just, you're going to put on the pounds if you stop doing your cardio and you introduce more calories. So uh, that's natural. Uh, I gained about 20 something pounds in like <laughs> two or three days. But I think that was more because of the, the, the fact that I was sitting down for like 10 hours on my way back. 
So uh, that was not fun. I went from like 176 to like 200 pounds in what? A matter of three, four days. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, didn't feel good. Anyway, okay, so um, the plan for the next competition is, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna do any competitions anytime soon, I'll tell you that. Well, what I was told was, it needed to come in better and tighter, which all it means is to come in bigger and leaner. And that just takes time. Like, if I was to go in right now, get leaner, um, like, bring, like, same amount of muscle, just get leaner, I would actually look smaller than what I did at the show. Um, I stepped on stage at 176. I would like to step on stage at like 185. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, as far as the reason why I'm putting out new video is because um, I decided to do something for the next six weeks. My coach, Chris Villa, is doing a six weeks transformation challenge. And um, he's giving out uh, a thousand bucks to whoever wins so I jumped on that and plus um, there's a few reasons so um, will it benefit me building muscle for my next show probably not but uh, it's six weeks out of the next year and being leaner just brings m way more opportunities the reason why I'm making the video is to record the next six weeks the plan is gonna be to drop as much body fat as possible in the next six weeks I'm gonna show you guys how I do it what I'm gonna be eating, like what my workouts are gonna be like, and um, yeah. So as far as the food goes, it's not gonna be as strict as me prepping for a show, just because I am not, it's not a show. <laughs> like I'm not looking to get below 8% body fat. Like, I, I'll probably get to like 180 pounds. Currently I'm around 90, 196 today, so that's about 16 pounds we're gonna lose, which is not that hard. A lot of you guys think that dropping body fat is hard, Try putting on muscle. That's the hard part. I'm not really 100% sure how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna make it happen somehow. Either on my computer editing or just on my phone. Um, very simple stuff. All I wanna do is show you guys what I go through, how I do it, because I know there's people out there that don't know what to do if they wanna drop 10 pounds. If they wanna just do a little cut for six weeks, they're not really sure what to do. Um, yeah, you can find a million other YouTube videos, but you know what? This is how I do things. If you guys want to see how I do it, this is it. Um, I don't track macros like 100%. I am not that vigilant when it comes to like every little thing, like hit my mat, hit my fats, hit my carbs, hit my proteins, like every single day. If it's not a show, like I, I don't do that. Is listen, I'm just trying to get ready for summer, okay? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Make a splash like Pippin. Shit, that's nothing. Splash. Everybody.